Hey guys, it's Matt Core from controlpaint.com, and today we're going to talk about avoiding mistakes. Now, this is actually more straightforward than that vague title might sound, because if I can do this, and this, and this, I'm more likely to avoid a mistake. Now, let me explain myself with an art school example. I had a great professor in a drawing class that would draw at an easel, and he'd make a few marks, and then he'd kind of step away a little bit. Maybe he'd tilt his head, look at the still life, or look at the model, and then look back at his drawing from a distance. And then he'd come back to the canvas, and he'd start to make a few more marks. And in doing this, he almost did as much looking as he did drawing. And we can do that in Photoshop. So the tools that we'll use to accomplish a similar effect are the zoom tool, which is a little magnifying glass, so you can zoom in and out. Now I have scrubby zoom checked. That's an option that's on more recent versions of Photoshop. And it requires your OpenGL options to be turned on. So you'll probably need a graphics card to do this. But I find that being able to zoom in and out to any degree, which is just holding down the Alt key and dr dragging left and right with the magnifying glass, this gives you a liberating freedom. Combine that with the pan tool, which is the space bar. So I hold down the space bar and pan, hold down alt with the magnifying glass. This is stepping away from my work, looking at it from across the room. This is walking back over closer to my work. Maybe I'll make some marks now. It's exactly like that drawing professor did. And I take things one step further. I actually like to flip the image a lot. So you can bind a keyboard shortcut to the command flip canvas horizontal, which does exactly what it sounds like. So I can quickly flip it, zoom in, make a few marks, zoom out, flip it. And by flipping it, you are giving your brain sort of a fresh look at your subject. It's amazing how we can stop seeing mistakes because we sort of acclimate ourselves to the image we've made. There can be a big mistake that anybody else who walked by the image would notice immediately, but we won't notice it because we are sort of uh, in the monkey house, as an expression I like to use, which is we've grown accustomed to the smell, and so we don't notice the smells there at the first place. But by flipping the image, you yank yourself out of the monkey house, and something that was there kind of going under the radar now becomes immediately obvious. It helps with images maintaining a sense of visual balance. Uh, if something is sort of standing out on one side of the image or the other, flipping it will really make that apparent. So if you don't already, memorize the keyboard shortcuts for these very simple commands. The magnifying glass, combined with Alt for zooming in and out, the pan tool with space bar, and flip canvas horizontal. This is just like your legs for walking. Being able to do this without thinking about it just allows you a sense of lightness and a sense of motion that is essentially the equivalent of being able to walk around your studio. It might seem like a small thing, but it makes a huge difference when it comes to avoiding mistakes. Your paintings will get better. All right, have fun. Thanks for coming to the site, guys.